Basically what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to replace the synthetic uh, fertilizers that these dairymen have to buy if they have a drip system installed. The challenge they have is they produce uh, a lot of value with their nutrients from the dairy manure. In the dairy industry, um, we're blessed with having excrement come off of these cows and that's ponded in lagoons and then able to be pumped on the, onto these fields. So with the old standard flood system, that's been how we've met our nutrient demands for each crop that we grow. But when we switch to drip irrigation, now we're watering with, with uh, fresh water through drip tape and not necessarily applying large amounts of manure. Now we're seeing because of the drought, more interest in drip irrigation on other grow crops like silage corn. And that's why we're starting to look into using your lagoon water, your nutrient water, and putting it through a drip irrigation system instead of using synthetics. We were approached by Sustainable Conservation uh, about a year and a half ago. And they basically had a, a vision for this project that say, hey, we think there's an opportunity for drip irrigation as a production tool to manage some of the regulatory issues that dairy farmers come up against and dealing with their wastewater and also a way to find some solutions that give them more efficiency tools from a water and fertilizer standpoint. It's a game changer for, for the drip and it's also a game changer for the way that we apply our manure water where in the past it's just been these mass quantities that we would apply and generally the top end of the field would get more than the bottom end and it was never a uniform application. But with this drip irrigation technology and the control systems that uh, have been put in place, uh, precise amounts of manure, fertilizer, have been applied to the field. We've come up with a methodology to constantly blend at the right ratio so that as the quality of the, uh, and the turbidity of the wastewater changes, we have an automatic adjustment using uh, EC, which is electrical conductivity, to basically keep that quality of water both from a nutrient standpoint but also from a turbidity standpoint in a constant state so we don't overwhelm the filtration. I think that's one of the, the keys here to this success. We've automated this whole system. We've automated valves in the fields so this system doesn't get touched at all by an irrigator except to clean our command filter over there that runs the the solenoids that operates the, the, the filtration on the system. The other thing that it does for farmers is that consistency. If you can spoon feed this, these crops, if you eat, feed them three times a day, they're gonna grow better, they're gonna be more healthy, they're gonna produce more. And that's what we're trying to do, consistent application to the field of manure water. And if you walk into these fields that, that we've been putting the, for the manure through the drip tape, um, what you see is just a really healthy plant and you're just seeing a really healthy crop compared to, compared to our conventionally farmed fields and also compared to just our subsurface drip fields that's not getting the manure water. That was a surprise and it, we saw the results on that for the first time last year where they were planted the same day, watered the same, harvested the same and you could see right to the line where the conventional was and where the drip manure was and uh, it was night and day just in the difference of the crops. I think it's something to that for each dairy farmer, they're gonna to wanna to look at in the future. It's, we're, we're not getting any, any more water supply than we currently have. You know, water in California has been hitting everyone, and particularly people in the southern part of the valley. And water efficiency is really driving a major portion of, of interest with this drip irrigation system. We see this as a challenge, but it's also an opportunity to ramp up the level of innovation and technology and, and willingness to think outside the box in coming up with solutions. We're, we're providing a solution that hasn't been feasible in the past and to me that finding solutions like that is what is in our DNA as a company and as, as a farming organization first and an irrigation company second in origin I think this passion of being in agriculture and finding solutions to producers is just what we do.